Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with more of the boys. You guys, I cannot wait to see what is going to happen on this crazy little show next. If you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So, oh my goodness, where to even start with last episode of The Boys? We got a lot of, like, backstory revelation in the last one. Um, we got to learn a lot about, like, Frenchie and how he sort of got involved um, with The Boys. Um... We actually got to see, like, meet and see and get to know Lamplighter, who they had mentioned this last season, and it completely didn't even dawn on me till like, halfway through their telling of the story about it last episode. But um, we knew that Mallory, um, her grandkids were killed, and that's when, like the boys kind of like officially disbanded um so we actually got to meet the individual responsible and we found out he actually didn't even mean to kill the grandkids not that it makes it any better but um he's been uh carrying this terrible burden about it and um which you know i mean he killed the kids so yes he should um and Frenchie has been carrying a huge burden about it because um, he was supposed to be kind of like tailing Lamplighter that night and his friend OD'd and then he ended up having to go help him. And um, what's awful is like the friend ended up OD'ing again and like dying later on. It was just so sad and messed up. But that's kind of why I'm guessing uh, Mother's Milk and Frenchie like hated each other when we first saw them. Um, the whole group trying to get back together um, last season. And uh, we know that Mallory, too, just, like, had no use for, for any of it. Um, when she was approached last last season, um, she seemed really done with it. And, we, and we, that's when we found out about her grandkids and everything. Um, so, good little backstory on, like, how, th how that happened with Mallory, um, how Frenchie came to be a part of our, our Motley crew here, um, and I like that they've been exploring that a little bit more, like, we got to hear a little bit of background on Mother's Milk, um, a, an episode or two ago, um, and kind of, like, what his motivations are, so, uh, so I like that, it's really cool, I did not expect to get, I, at this point, I had kind of just, like, forgotten a lot about, um, you know, exactly how they, uh, all know each other and everything and they're just kind of like there now and they're the boys um but it was cool to have that background explanation um we got other stuff going on we had um we learned a lot about this um facility where they have been experimenting on people to try and create um mass quantities of stable adult soups um, and I'm guessing the reason for that is, like, they're, they're trying to, like, raise up an army, basically. Um, because Mother's Milk even said, like, that would mess with all their, like, movies and everything. Like, if there were a ton of heroes, um, but I don't think they're looking for heroes. Like, I got the distinct impression between that and what we heard at the end between Stormfront and Homelander. I get the idea that they're, like, trying to do something else. Um, also, Stormfront and Homelander. Uh, oh, I'm... So, I mean, it was a cool little twist that she's actually even older than we thought. Um... But I am just, like, the more I get to know of the both of them, like, the more I'm just done. Because we learned, um, and people had pointed this out to me, like, hey, you know, you can see all these, like, Nazi influences in her name and her in her outfit um, and, and little hints that they've dropped. But, I mean, no, they, I mean, she is a straight-up Nazi. Like, like, yeah, just like an actual Nazi. Um... And she's, like, the first Vought guy's widow. And they had mentioned that at the beginning of the series, that, like, they had, their origins had ties in the, in, in, uh, Nazi stuff. Um, so it kind of makes sense. It's a way to pull it all together to, to bring her in and have her be, like, the, the first successful V subject and the widow of, of the, 
founder of Vought. Um, I feel like Homelander, like, while I wouldn't um, be surprised by any, like, he, he definitely is a um, supremacist. I think he just sees himself as supreme above all other people, like, regardless of... <laughs> Uh, so I don't know if it's specifically a racist thing, but the fact that, like, the whole Nazi thing was not a deal breaker for him is, yeah, it's, yeah, just, uh, he's even more of a garbage person um, than any of us thought. And, and I mean, we knew how, just how garbage he was, but somehow he just keeps, he just keeps going with it. Um, all he needed to hear was, like, uh, he just had to have his ears tickled with like, you're the most important person ever. And he was like, you could say anything else to him about what was going on. And he would just hear that he was better than everyone. So whatever, whatever. But that can't be good because, you know, on his own, he's shown that like he can't, he doesn't have great control of the situations in his life. He has the brute strength. He definitely has the raw power, but like when it comes to smoothing things over with the public or um, just kind of knowing how to get around things and people, he's that's not his forte. But with her, I feel like she has the, the raw power and the strategy, and now she has Homelander, so we should all be very afraid, and I am, trust me. Um, we had a great little scene with... Um, we had, like, some bonding between uh, Annie and Butcher last episode, sadly, over something really bad um, because uh, they get in this whole situation where where um, Annie accidentally, which I know, like, okay, it still doesn't because as a superhero, like, you do have those responsibilities to know, like, how your powers work and everything. And, you know, I mean, you could say that, you know, A-Train didn't mean to kill Robin. It was gross negligence. But, like, the intention doesn't matter. It's how you were, um, how responsible or not responsible you were being with your powers. But I real like, in her case, she really, really just did not even, um, did did not mean for that to happen, but um, and and it wasn't like she was being grossly negligent or anything like that. Um, it just oh, it was just a horrible thing to happen. But I felt bad for her. But it was kind of like kind of nice that they ended up bonding. They actually ended up bonding about Huey because she was like, no, I don't. I'm not like you. I don't want to bond with you over this. No. Um, but they did end up bonding a little bit, and I liked that. Um, so what else? We had, oh yeah, A-Train's getting in this cult now. Um, that, that should be interesting. We had a, just another weird couple scenes with the Deep, and anytime the Deep is around, you just know it's gonna get weird. Um, but, oh, Maeve, oh my god, Maeve. So Maeve is trying to, like, she's gonna try to blackmail Homelander, and... I, I'm, oh, that's just, I'm so scared for her because I thought she knew how this all worked and she does, but she still thinks that somehow she's going to come out of that situation alive. And I'm just like, oh, no, you absolutely will not come out alive. And I like Maeve. I mean, no one on the show is like, I'm a hundred percent going to get behind everything you do because it's just a show about like, how crummy anyone can be <laughs> even like good people um but I mean I like Maeve and I don't want to see Maeve die and I don't want to see Maeve's I don't think they've confirmed whether or not they're back together or not but her ex-girlfriend her current friend um I don't want to see anything happen to her either um she's just been dragged along into this for like no reason other than Maeve um, okay, so I think I covered most of what happened. If I left anything out, um, I'm sure they'll cover it in the intro, but yeah, I, I just, I, I don't even know where this is going. I feel like we pulled the trigger with, like, all the, um, scandal with Vought, like, really early, and now I just don't even know where we're going with this. I don't know if there's gonna be a season three. I don't know anything. So, um, I know nothing. What do you say? We go ahead, get started, hopefully learn something. Let's go. Is he one of the meme guys? 
Uh oh. Oh no. She's going from that angle now. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like this. No. I saw the light in your eyes. Just, just take the money. You one of them? You fucking super villain? What? Are you bulletproof, motherfucker? Oh, please, I have a family. Please. Oh God. Oh. She got. Everyone all riled up, all riled up, thinking, oh, good Lord. Was that her intention? Did she really just want people to start turning on immigrants? I jive. Oh, guys. Um, they're really good, though. I gave my whole life to nothing. That's so true. Mom. The good guys don't win. The bad guys don't get punished. What we do means nothing. It's just all for money. And I am in the middle of all of it. Oh, honey. Alone. Honey, you're not alone. Just get away from all of this. Get away from Bob. Escape for a while. Mm -hmm. I cleared it already. Huh? You cleared what? With Ashley at Bot. Um. Them? Yeah, about an hour ago. Why? That's... Mom, they, they could be looking for <gasps> Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, her mom just has no idea. Oh, no. <gasps> Annie, oh, my Lord. Oh, my God, no. Besides, we got a very important job for you. What's that? We need you to look after our star witness. Hey. You guys want to watch Deep Desert in the Blow Hole? Oh no! Oh no! Now, what do you want to watch next? Uh, translucent, invisible cock, Queen Maeve, pleasure slave, <laughs> big black noir. <laughs> oh no! Starlight pulls an H. -ray. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Different strokes, man. Please don't say that in this context. <laughs> I was gonna do great things. Almost did. Now look at me. I'm like the cuck in the porn, sitting on the sidelines while the real heroes are out there doing the fucking. That's one way to look at it. You wanna know? I thought I finally found something. I thought I found what I was meant to do. But it turns out I'm shit at that as well. Oh, honey, you're I don't know if cook. you'd want to be good at that. I'm the cuck. Actually, you're worse. You're the cuck fluffer. I don't know what that is, and I don't want to know. Oh, see, now she's she started out trying to be all, like, more on the liberal side, I feel like, and now she's... Oh boy. Now she's leaning right into like trying to get people riled against the tragic against each other. Has there ever been anyone in history more persecuted just for trying to protect their own? We are at war. We need more compound V. Absolutely. That's this is about. And that's where they're going with this. That's where they're going with it. Brings me no pleasure to tell you this, but we also had a mole in the seven. Oh no! Oh, he's gonna go. He's gonna go try to do something about it. He's gonna go try to save her. This is your last chance to be a hero again. Come on. I mean, do you want to be the cuck, or do you want to be the guy who fucks the wife? I, it's. Boy, just what an analogy, though. What an analogy. He's like, you know what? I will be that guy. Let's go fuck the wife. <laughs> he just let's says, go. let's go. <laughs> when, Huey, when Huey tries to be tough and he just comes off his dorky, it's amazing. <laughs> no, I was no perfect father. But I, I never got a chance to say goodbye to Lenny. 
And I don't want that with you. They didn't have a chance to say goodbye to Lenny. Uh oh, uh oh. You're the fucking reason he's dead. Oh you no! Something, William. It's a shit world out there. Or you swim. And in Lenny's case, he chose to sink. You don't have the fucking right to mention his name. Oh no, don't. Don't try that. Don't. But he wasn't hard to You afraid of anything? No. Are you the strongest bastard you know? Yeah. <laughs> but he's so unhappy, though. That's made so many problems for him. <gasps> You're a fucking monster. I'm just for the no one. Jesus. Wow. See, Lenny could never have done that. He just wants him to be ruthless. He wanted them both to be ruthless. And oh, and we know that Lenny being so sweet was so important to, to Butcher, which is why he appreciates Huey. Oh, that's what she meant when she said you're going to be very important to me. Oh, he's going to show him he has a kid. Oh, no. I... I have such a hard time feeling sorry for her when I know she is who she is, though. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Hello. You are the first natural born superhero. Can we not? Yeah, can we not, please? That's right. Um, Ryan does. Uh, really like you to get to know Stormfront. Oh, that's not a good idea. Much. And, um, it to be a family. When he says us. I don't think he's including Becca in that. I just need time. Oh boy. You said you wanted to see the real me. This is the real me. I know. But she, I'm sorry. she couldn't handle it. That's, it's a lot to process can't blame her but still for Maeve though I'd like to hear about your family keep them alive a bit longer if you'd ever like to teach me I mean just take in never mind <laughs> no she's trying to teach you <laughs> that is That, okay, that means gun. I'm seeing gun. Oh, yeah. Aww. See, he's just trying to like get to know her now, you know? I brought you something just to make up for all the shit I used to do to you. Oh, it's, it's a little- He knows my name. <laughs> okay. Hey, he might He's like, okay. <laughs> I always think of um, Eagle the Archer. Oh, he's like a brother to me. Yeah, he was there for me when I was at rock bottom. He's the most kind, loving That's person. That's the guy who... He's ever. a toxic personality, and no church members are to have any contact with him whatsoever. He doesn't exist. You know oh, that's like classic cult stuff. Come on, I think they're gonna do the limbo. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's just all do limbo after that. Sure, we're gonna excommunicate people, and then we're gonna do the limbo. I'm either still in the system, or we're about to be swarmed by guards with AKs. Wait, what? That's risky. And boom, bitches! <laughs> you, we jumped like 10 feet! You're in a movie? <laughs> I'm in a bunch of movies, man. Uh, let's see, there's Homelander Origins, Homelander Rise of a Hero, Homelander Darkest Day, Homelander Brightest Day. There's a reason he has not seen any of those. Can I see them? When you're old enough, we can talk about it. Ah, uh, they're PG. We can see them now. You're old enough. He just, like, did this to her. There's sleepovers and baseball games and visits to Votland. Yeah. Did you Botland. know that your dad has his own roller coaster? Mm -hmm. Do you want to take a ride on your dad's roller coaster? Can I move? We can talk about it whenever you want. Hmm. 
I'm sorry, you're not the mom here. Yeah. We're having a good time here, right? Outside. Uh, and the only yeah. thing she had was that, like, she was going to kill herself. That's a great idea. And take away his mom. Stay here, get to know each other. But if he's got a new mom, then she doesn't really have a bargaining chip, does she? If it occurred to you, the pain you cause sorry bastards like me. At the time, it was barely a blip on my radar. Oh, I don't think that's what you want to be. Tell me, Doctor. What's your radar telling you now? Oh, no. to me, but I can't help you. Because I'm about to go into that room next door to your daughter. And I'm going to bash her brains out. Oh, no. And I'm going to find your two sons <gasps> and their wives and their little kitties. Butcher! Your whole fucking family. Butcher, no. Today. Or you help me. Wow, Butcher, wow. I can't remember the last time I had a good cup of chai. <laughs> Wait, Butcher just going on no, about his... Oh, good Lord. Right after that massive threat. Oh, God, Butcher, though. Would he re I don't know if he'd really do it. Would he really do it? He might really do it. I don't think he'd really do it. But he's looking like he'd really do it. He just wanted to see. A statue? He wanted to see if he was in there. Oh, God, that's what we came here for. Really? I just wanted to make my dad proud. Oh no! Oh god, now Huey's in there, oh no! Oh good lord! Oh wait a second! Did he know that was gonna happen or was that just a happy coincidence? I mean not happy because obviously he just killed himself which is very sad but... Yes girl. She, oh she, oh yes! Get out of there. Find Huey and get out of there. No, he's, oh, he's gone. Oh, God. Ew, 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 ew. What is he doing? Ah! Oh, he needs the, oh, he needs the hand. Will it even recognize his, ugh. Will it even read his hand? Yeah, just just get out of there. Just let's. She's she's being smart. Don't run. Don't make yourself look. <gasps> oh God. Oh God! No! 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 Oh, Huey must not be far. Oh God! No! Not not Noir. Oh no, Annie. Oh God! Come on, Annie! Come on. Oh, no, no. Oh! <laughs> Maeve, Maeve for the save! What is she doing? Who's that at home, Joy? He has a tree nut allergy. Oh, <laughs> no! Yes, it is. Let's go. Oh, they were holding the mom to those monsters. Please tell me they're facing each other. Yuri? Oh, thank God. I thought that was going to be one of those fake outs where, like, you think they ran into each other, but they really ran into other people. He was like, that's fine. Hug your mom first. That makes sense. Hug. 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 He's like, oh, just was in the neighborhood. <laughs> Huey. Best boy, Huey. You're a liar. You lied to me. Oh, no. You just flew me up and showed me that this house is fake. The neighbors are fake. You're fake? Or deserves to know the truth. Oh. Listen, Turn him against the mom. This, okay, I know, right? He needs his mother. Don't worry. He'll still have a mother. Oh. <gasps> 
Ryan, Ryan! Oh no! Oh, they took the cat. Forget. Oh, she needs to get butcher. She needs to get get butcher. Get butcher. Call him. Get butcher on the phone. All you had to do was watch. Or... I didn't know he was gonna set himself on fire. Oh, oh, oh that's right. He was gonna test fire. No. no. Tell me what happens. I'll piss on his coffin. I didn't do it for him. He's a cunt. Oh, that's where he learned the word. <laughs> I just thought, when you saw how helpless he is now, you'd let me go. She did it for him. He wouldn't have this hold of. Investigating Fox International. Uh, they just got. <laughs> she's like. A... <laughs> He's got popcorn. <laughs> He's got. This is it. Shh, the mom looks very uncomfortable. The testimony we're about to. Don't you, cunt. <laughs> She's like language. Oh, Raise your right. You have five minutes to make your opening statement. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> what? Make sure it's still there. Who is doing this? Are they gonna try to say this was super terrorists or something? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna end it there! Oh my god, you guys. I don't even know what to do with any of that. So much went to heck in that episode. All right. I don't, I don't know like what's gonna, the only thing I can think, because I feel like it would be, it would be very not in their favor, not in the soup's favor to have that happen because just because nobody could testify doesn't mean that like that's not a big deal that like everyone started getting taken out at the hearing. The only thing I can think of is they're going to try to frame like super terrorists about it. That's the only get thing I can think. Um... Oh my god, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They lost two people who could have oh, testified. Okay. Um let's just start let's just start with the whole Stormfront and Homelander thing. So now she wants a kid. So he decided that he's going to just go take his kid back. Like, he, like his kid's just like a library book. He can just go and check him out whenever he wants. Um, okay, I get that, like, the boy was living very sheltered. And I see how that would be not a good thing under, like, normal circumstances. However, wasn't she, to a great degree, trying to shelter the kid from Homelander in the first place? Um, like, it wasn't just life she was trying to shelter him from. It was, it was, like, danger of Homelander knowing about them. Um, oh, and now, it, and like I was saying, she had that one bargaining chip that he needed his mother, but now that he has a mother and they turn the kid against her, they're going to raise him to be a little awful, just bigot, bigoted. Oh, God. And, and everything she was afraid of, which is him being, like, the next Homelander, is now... Yeah. Now he is going to be the next Homelander. Wow. She needs to call up Butcher. She needs to call him up. She needs to... She should... They should have... They should have... Now... Now I'm like, dang it. They should have gotten away while they could have. They could be on the run by now. He'd always keep looking, though. Oh, my God. Also, like... You know, it's hard for me to feel bad for Stormfront because ordinarily you'd be like, oh, that's really sad, like, to outlive your child and everything. And it is, but also, like, I can't help but think, you know, like, when she met Homelander's kid and everything, 
Like, if he hadn't looked the way she wanted him to, she wouldn't have cared. She All of a sudden, he would have been her enemy, you know? I mean, that's, like, that kind of hatred is just really, it's just really hard to, like, so everything is okay and you have love for, like, these people in your life as long as they look this way or, like, are this way or whatever. It's just whatever. Oh, God. And then, like, when she was, so sh when she came on the scene, she was trying to be, like, miss, like, open-minded and everything, I feel like. Um, now she's leaning into the whole, like, oh, we shouldn't be, like, trying to rile up the fear against other, like, people and cultures and everything. Which, like, wa sitting there watching that, I just, like, oh, I'm sorry, I was, j I'm just getting overwhelmed, <laughs> guys. I was just getting overwhelmed by, like, the fact that this is, it's so, it's, it's just, like, realistic enough to, to be scary. You know what I mean? It really is. It's just realistic enough to be scary. Um, but, and, and I wonder, like, I know that they were trying to get people to, they were trying to get co more compound visa so that they can have this, like, army. Like, that was the end goal. But I can't help but think, like, was she trying to get people riled up so that people were just now becoming afraid and discriminatory towards other races and cultures and everything because that's her way of thinking, too, and trying to get people more into that way of thinking. Probably, like, a little bit of both. Like, yes, they wanted the V, but I'm sure that had something to do with it, too. It's just, guys, it's just, oh, it's... Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, so now they have the little boy that's... Oh, boy. That is going to end so badly. I don't know how they're going to resolve this, guys. I don't know how they're going to resolve this with the hearing. I don't know what would happen if that, like, if that happens in a hearing. Like, they still have to have the hearing, right? Or are they just going to keep taking people out every hearing to the point where, like, they show the people in the government, like, hey, look, we're in charge and don't mess with us or people are going to keep getting their heads blown off. Maybe that's, like, I don't even know. I don't even know who was doing it. Like, I'm sure it had, it was somebody on the side of Vought, but I don't even know, like, who it was. Because I just kind of assumed before that it was, like, Stormfront that did it to the, the, I think she was, like, an FBI agent before. Oh, man. Okay, let's talk about some other stuff that happened in the episode because um, a lamplighter, I don't know if he knew, uh, maybe he was just trying to get to a place where it would be like fitting for him to kill himself, which is really sad. But was there a part of him that knew that if he do that, if he did that, that it would set off the alarms and, and Annie would be able to get out? Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe he just really was just using the whole thing as an excuse to get in and, and do what he had been hoping to do. Um, but... His, like, we didn't, we weren't with him for very long, but I thought his story was pretty messed up and sad. Um, like, the whole, like, he burned his house down and his dad was so proud of him for it. And, like, just the pressure of wanting to make his dad happy and just the, the, just the misery that we've seen, like, a lot of the, the heroes in of, like, not being where you want to be and like being cast aside and everything and Maeve now all oh, Maeve with her with her situation with Elena and you know what like no one's wrong there because of course like that would be a lot to process and some people may not be able to get past any of it so like you can you can get where Elena's coming from but on the other hand, like, she was all, she was always after Maeve to let her into her personal life. And Maeve did. And she was like, no, I don't want any part of this. So I feel bad for Maeve, too. It's a, I, I wish Maeve had gone. I wish Maeve had gone with Annie. I would love to see Maeve get out. I, would, I just want a happy life for Maeve. I really do. Um... Annie and Huey when they had that little moment. When they had that little moment, though. I loved it. I loved it. I, I think they should stick together. I really do. And I don't think that they're going to have a choice now. Because she's like, she's out. She is out of the... Oh, yeah. And then we had the Church of the whatever collective. Um, 
And they're, they are most definitely pulling some cult stuff now. Like, that is, like, textbook cult stuff. And and I think A-Train can see it. I don't think Deep can... I, if he sees it, he doesn't care. He's just trying to, like, stay blind to it because he's so desperate to get back in the seven. Um, oh, yeah. Let's talk about the whole thing with with Butcher. We got to meet his mom and dad, and we know that his... Um, uh, so I was having a hard time like understanding through the accent, like if they said what exactly the the brother died from. Um, but maybe I'll go back and watch that part just to like see. But we know like the brother died, and the brother like basically could not handle the uh, kind of treatment that he got from the dad. And Butcher like couldn't either. But in response, he became like this hardened, ruthless person, which is what the dad was after. And Lenny, on the other hand, didn't do that. Um, oh, it's so messed up. I don't, I don't blame Butcher for just like hating his dad about that. Um, but, oh, I, I, and his mom trying to like, trying to bring the dad into it, back into his life for his sake, for Butcher's sake, so that he could have, like, some kind of, he could let it go or something. There was a lot of, like, themes about letting stuff go because we also had Mallory and Mother's Milk and her saying, like, you're never, it will never end. You're never going to get to that point where you are done. Just let it go now and get out while you can. Um, and there's a lot of instances where I'm seeing um, the, the situations that our characters are in. It's like, you they they kind of had these opportunities where they could have like gotten out of the situation while they could have and now they can't and I'm like dang it I just I just wish this wasn't happening to you like the whole thing with Becca and the kid and um even like Annie like she didn't really have an opportunity to to leave but like there were opportunities where she still could have like left on better terms than uh than what she ended up in um Guys, I could not try and predict what's going to happen now. Oh, we did have one good thing happen, though. And that was Kimiko and Frenchie starting to, like, be friends again. And, and she's starting to show him her language. I feel like he's... Now he's, like, coming at it from a good point of view. Now he's, like, he's not trying to push her. He's not trying to, like, hey, I need to help you. I need to be there for you. I need to love you. He's just, like, he's just trying to get to know her. He's just, hey, could I maybe hear... Could I maybe hear about your dad? Maybe sometime. And that's a little bit better of an approach than, like, it's a much less selfish approach, too. Um, he's doing it a lot more, I think, for the sake of, of, you know, trying to be a friend to her as opposed to, like, trying to redeem himself, which is what he was doing before. Um, uh, I feel like I'm probably, there's so many stories going on at once. You'd think it would be hard to, like, keep track of them, but... The way that they do it, I don't know. I don't feel like it is. But there's so many things going on at once. I'm sure I probably... Um... Oh! Okay, it just hit me. I wonder if Cindy is the one who's doing the head popping. That, like, just hit me because I was just thinking, I wonder if I forgot anyone's story because at the beginning they had a flashback to Cindy and we didn't, um... We didn't really see her in this episode. Now I'm like, oh my god, what if... Because she can... She has, like, long-range telekinesis. Oh, I bet she's the one doing it then. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I'm right. I don't know how they're going to get out of this, guys. I don't know if they are. Like, I don't think that they're afraid on this show to just, like, take a big step and, like, take somebody out, even if it's somebody that we care about. Um... Which is scary, and I don't know if they're planning on, like, a season three. So I don't know if this one's going to, like, be wrapped up or if it's going to end on a cliffhanger or not. Um, but, you guys, there's one way to find out. Um, that is to, to uh, join me next time to watch the last episode of the season of The Boys. Um, it was it was a great episode. It's always weird to say I had a blast with it because there's so much just, like, horribleness but I did I did enjoy it and I did get a lot out of it and I hope you enjoyed watching along with me thank you so much for joining me today please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together bye for now guys